Hi, we're looking at ways to improve your reading comprehension by thinking more critically. One of the things you should do is to see if the information is a fact or an opinion. Oh, that's easy, right? Well, there's a great area there. If someone says the earth is flat, is that a fact or an opinion? The answer might surprise you, so stick around and let's talk about distinguishing fact and opinion. Hi, welcome to Snap Language. I'm Mark Franco. If I say it's 30 degrees Celsius outside, you can verify the information. All you need is a thermometer or, well, your smartphone. The information is objective, it's based on data and observation. However, if I say it's very hot, now that's an opinion. 30 degrees Celsius is a fact, it's objective information that I can verify. But you may think 30 degrees Celsius is comfortable. Another person may say 30 degrees Celsius is really hot. Each person can have a different opinion. So, facts are verifiable and objective. You can check the information and tell if it's true or untrue. Opinions cannot be verified and they're subjective. They change according to a person's judgment. It's a fact that it's 30 degrees Celsius, but each person may feel differently about that. When something's presented as a fact, does it also mean it's true? Well, these are separate issues. In the passage, a writer can present information as a fact, even though it may be inaccurate or even flat out wrong. It's up to you as the reader to examine the information carefully to make sure it's relevant and accurate. Let's look at this chart. It shows the average course grades that students received in a course. Half of the students took the course with Professor X, the other half took it with Professor B. You can see their average course grades here. We can make several statements based on this information. For example, Professor X's students earned an average course grade of 95. Professor B's students earned an average course grade of 85. These statements are presented as facts and the information is accurate. I can check it right here in the graph. Professor X's students earned a higher average course grade than did Professor B's students. Again, I can check the information on the graph. It's presented as a fact. Students in Professor X's course earned a higher average course grade. Uh, therefore, Professor X is a better instructor. Okay, now we get into a bit of a gray area. We saw that this is a fact, but saying Professor X is a better instructor is an opinion. It is possible Professor X did a better job, but it's also possible that Professor B did a good job too, but his students didn't do very well for some reason. This opinion is based on the fact that one group of students did better than the other, but it's still just an opinion. Professor X has more experience than Professor B. In addition, Professor X's students did better in the course. Therefore, Professor X is a better instructor than Professor B. Now, this is presented as a fact. I trust it's true, but I can also verify it by looking at the instructor's professional records. We also have a fact here. His students did do better. We can see that in the graph. But this conclusion that he's a better instructor is still an opinion. It's a little stronger now because it's based on two pieces of evidence, but it's still an opinion. So back to where we started. If I say the earth is flat, is that a fact or an opinion? Well, the information is presented as a fact. You can verify it and you'll find that it's wrong. So when information is presented as a fact, it is verifiable and objective based on statistics, data, observations. It could be right, wrong, or misleading. It's up to you to verify the evidence. When the information is presented as an opinion, you 
cannot verify it. An opinion may be based on facts, but it's subjective. It's based on feelings or judgments. Does that mean opinions are bad? Not necessarily. Opinions are weak when they're based only on a guess or your personal feeling or judgment. The more factual information you base your opinions on, the stronger they are and the more compelled you are to agree with them. Both facts and opinions are important parts of sharing knowledge and ideas. In a study, researchers found that two-thirds of college seniors failed a high school grammar test. This points to the poor state of higher education in the United States. Let's see, this is presented as a fact. I trust that there was a study and this is what they found. This, this is problematic. It's just an opinion. Yes, you can judge the quality of higher education based on whatever you want, but others may disagree that this information is a good measure of quality. I can read the study to verify what these researchers found, but I cannot verify that the quality of education is high or low based on it. An opinion based on fact is still an opinion. Is it a strong opinion? Let's see, the study found that these college seniors failed some high school grammar test. What was the test like? Can a grammar test be used to judge the quality of higher education? Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Is there a better way to measure quality? This is a somewhat weak opinion because the evidence doesn't support it very well at all. So the point is that an opinion based on facts is stronger than one that's based on just feelings or personal judgment. But you must still ask questions about those facts. Don't simply agree with someone's opinion as if it were factual. So keep this in mind the next time you read something. Oh, check the descriptions below the video for more materials. One opinion I never question is when people like and share my videos. So go ahead. We'll be talking about other aspects of critical thinking in the next videos. So until the next time, thanks for stopping by and watching this video.